All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button. If you like the content. Listen, man, YouTube has, uh, we haven't been demonetized, but for some reason, we're not getting paid our AdSense because something is, is going weird with YouTube. So, um, we can't do no super chats. So, if you would like to uh, donate, to the Sketchpad podcast, all the links are in the description of PayPal, Cash App, all that good stuff. We're working hard to get YouTube to fix this issue because, uh, hey man, everybody likes donations, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, listen. Who raised you? was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other what yo i can't understand it neither Wait, you got one thing yeah one thing uh also this sunday this sunday the sketch pet podcast will be on college radio. That's right, for all of you South Jersey natives, we will be at Stockton University, where we will be the special guest on a hip hop radio show out there. Uh, we're going to be talking about podcast stuff, and we're going to be talking about some reviews and all that good stuff. We definitely gonna have some behind the scenes footage and we are going to distribute it to you on this platform when we are finished. So uh, make sure y'all stay tuned for that. It's gonna be dope. Shout out to uh, my homie, big homie DJ Abel for the opportunity. We are gratefully appreciative. All right, so, hey man, listen, we're gonna get into this video. We'll be back. Ah uh, yeah, man, Sketchpad podcast. So, this video right here, uh, we're gonna react to this female who was on a date with a guy, and she's being a little bit narcissistic and ungrateful. We ain't gonna really—I'm not gonna really talk about what happened. So I'm sure some of y'all seen it, but we're gonna react to it, and we're gonna be stopping and, and breaking down some of the things that she's saying. So, without further ado, let's get into the beginning of this video, man. Let's go. Let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this car. Mm -mm. Yes. Uh All right, so let me stop it right there. I'm trying not to go off on this bitch. I'm really trying not to go off. The arrogance, the arrogance of you in this guy's car. Mm -hmm. And you lock the doors or the doors was probably what well, obviously the doors was, had to be had to be unlocked because he got out the car. You lock the door. And then you put your finger up and tell him. Mm -mm. And you roll his window down. And you say yes. <laughs> you, you, you get it, man, because I'm not going to spend too much time on, on, on breaking this down. I'm just saying what you got to say so we can just keep this joint going. Everything that I have to say as far as what's going on here, I'm going to say after we're done because i got a lot to dish to this chick right here so let's just let's just move on I, yeah. yo we we going in today we going in all right uh did you want me to open the door for you okay are you you're recording me yeah yeah 
This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You wanna talk about it? I'm, I'm fine with talking about uh -huh. it, even in front of them. Oh right. yeah, I wanna talk about it. Yeah. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we are gonna talk about it. <laughs> this, this, this is, this is another level of arrogance. I never seen, uh, this is, this is, when they say, when people say this is America, and they say it on the side of with with racism and white people. And us, they also need to say this is America too. They also need to say this is America. Where you have arrogant, obnoxious, narcissistic people like this. Who believe that they're so entitled. This right here. When y'all say this is America. You need to include this type of behavior too. You have to. This is incredible to me. Incredible and not in a good way. Let's keep it going. Oh, okay. 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 So, okay. yes. Her to keep the doors locked. She had to let the man back in his own car. Let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, because I, I get courted. So mm -hmm. you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're and supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. And, and I, to do. I agree. Not I, I went into factory. this date as I expect, uh, with the expectations for myself, to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. uh, to pay for, for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty nice, but I mean, and then cheesecake factory. I. On the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative. Mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know. Uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even like uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that or hold my hand or anything like that. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay. I yeah. don't know and you. I yeah. can respect that. I can respect Let me stop right there. It's too early for that. Right? But it's not too early for you to be sitting up in his car. It's not too early for him to pick you up and take you somewhere. But it's too early. This man is taking you somewhere. And you saying it's too early for him for you to hold his hand, but you want him to take you to dinner. And I'm sure if you're saying that you like the Cheesecake Factory, it must be it must be a better restaurant, a more expensive restaurant that you want to go to. This is this is so mind blowing to me how people have gotten to this point where they, they are this arrogant. That it's like, and 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 I even get to. I'm gonna get. To, I'm gonna save the best part for last. So we going. I'm gonna try to keep this moving. Okay. When uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. We're not again. I don't we're not know there yet. Okay. And then, but I mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. But I, I mean, got myself all made nothing up. nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well, look at... I mean... Look at my plan, where we were gonna go. So, I gotta... I have to stop it. She said there is a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, right? My question to women who... Who say... Because only ghetto... Only ghetto girls say stuff like this. 
Only ghetto girls. This is she's ghetto. You know what I'm saying? She might be educated, or she might be even, she might be even not even don't even live in a ghetto, but she's ghetto. Look at her lipstick. Her lipstick is ghetto as hell. That that purple is is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? That's disgusting. And she looked like she, she's not an ugly woman. Don't get me wrong. She ain't she ain't drop dead gorgeous either. But she ain't ugly. But that lipstick got to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna put that out there. That's gotta go. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep it moving. See, now that's that's where that's where we should have went. Ari. Right there. Call See, him. Call him. No. What do you mean no? See, I, I specifically I told you both yesterday and this morning that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m., right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs. I under for nigga, no. Oh, nigga, no. You lost your goddamn mind if you think I'm going to be sitting there waiting for this motherfucker. You, nigga, no. What? You waited downstairs for an hour? What? There's a five minute rule that a man should give a woman. And the reason why, because I don't care if a woman says, oh, um, it takes a long time for a woman to get ready. Five minutes because you knew a week in advance that I was coming at four o'clock. There's no way in the world you're going to see and tell me that you had me waiting for an hour and you didn't even invite me in your crib. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it going. I, I'm, I'm going to try not to stop it no more. An hour. Yeah, right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long. I got home a little late. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in the relationship to, you know, meet uh, at your apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a huh? nice, fancy uh, restaurant as Aria, especially if I'm paying for the whole thing, which I'm still willing to do. I, mean, I would have been, okay. but if we're late, I mean, I told I mean, you we twice. It wasn't that late. I'm we literally trouble. left your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be. Oh, 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 and I specifically oh, said four oh, because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, and we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said, understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, with I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations oh, for no. death. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I, and maybe we're not right for each other. So respectfully, I'm oh, gonna no, just drop didn't. you off at home. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm up. So you just want to call it a night? I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, Ladies, can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but out the parking space. I, I, if I don't feel respected, I, I am mean, not gonna go through I mean, with the rest come of the on. day. Well, I mean, you are serious. You're really leaving. I mean, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean, I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a, a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already said them, and you've broken everyone. Oh so, my God. I'm sorry. Dropping you off. All right, whatever. Well, 
I mean, I guess I, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let me explain something to you, because y'all got the whole game twisted, right? Women like this, men need to avoid. I don't care how good they look. I don't care. First of all, and and again, I'm not blaming the guy, because I I I don't I don't think. Let's just start here. There's a reason why that there's a reason for alpha males and there's a reason for beta males. There's a big reason. There's a big difference. He was a respectful alpha male. He was mild, mm -hmm. but he was a very respectful alpha male because he did something that typically betas would never do. When she said, because she she's used to dealing with beta men. She's used to dealing with men that would give her anything do anything taking her to a chain restaurant she looking at it like well the cheesecake factory is a chain restaurant right and my thing is like you're that arrogant enough i can almost guarantee that you don't eat exclusively at every rest of, of every restaurant that is not a chain restaurant i can guarantee mm -hmm. that i could guarantee you that she probably eats at mcdonald's burger king mm -hmm. starbucks all the major chain restaurants. I, mm -hmm. And I even give it the benefit of doubt. She probably didn't even eat at McDonald's. But I can guarantee you she eat at she eat from somewhere that's a chain. Because you can't avoid them. They everywhere. Mm -hmm. But she gets mad at him. What really cracks me up is women love to put a price tag on what they believe the date should be. The date should be this how much this should be. Oh, that place right there is a hundred dollars a plate he's willing to pay for it but you're not willing to cooperate so how is it that you come downstairs an hour later after you said the reservation was at four you knew when the reservation was instead of you saying can you make the reservation for later because i just got off work and work i didn't know i was going to get off a little bit late you leave him downstairs for a whole hour. Mm -hmm. Don't say nothing to him. Right? Because he would have said you said something. Mm -hmm. He waited downstairs for you for a whole hour. You didn't show up for an hour. Bam, you come downstairs. And then he takes you to the Cheesecake Factory because you was late and you messed up the other um, uh, uh, reservation. And then you turn around and tell him, well, I think I did everything as a lady. I mean, I can admit I was wrong and I'm willing to compromise. What is there to compromise? He did everything in his realm to make you happy. How are you? How how is he? Ha why? Why does he have to compromise with something when he did everything right? What is there to compromise? You fucked it up. And then on top of that, on top of that, you are very narcissistic and arrogant about it. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody want to even be around you? You're not even a good person. Mm -mm. You act like you the whole time you were caught in. I'm going to get to that in a second. But the whole time you act as if this man owed you something because you are a woman. And the greatest part of it all, you did it on live. How? Are you trying to embarrass this man on social media for taking you to a chain restaurant, like you say, but the whole time you were the one who caused that? The only reason why he took you to the Cheesecake Factory is because you were fucking late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't mm -hmm. make this shit up. This is crazy. You're the reason why you went to the Cheesecake Factory. How are you blaming him? 
Mm-hmm. Men, I'm just going to say this and I'm going to let you go. Men, if you come across a woman like this, run the fucking other way. Because they're not worth it. I don't give mm-hmm. a fuck. Don't even fuck them. Move the other way. Don't be with no chick like this. Don't. So I'll let you go. Go ahead, man. It is uh there's so many things, there's so many things I could possibly say right now, but I'm gonna try to be as respectful as possible. But then again, I might not. First and foremost, I commend the brother for being respectful and not cursing her the fuck out. I commend him for that. Because her arrogance her disrespect, her everything as far as how she presented herself was completely out of order. For one, right, you were late. You were late. Not him. You were late. You didn't have the common courtesy to call him ahead of time and let him know that you was going to be late. You're talking about, you're talking about, oh, I didn't know my job was going to keep me that long. And y'all didn't, okay, so as soon as you get past the threshold of you going on your date, you should have picked up that phone and said, hey, blah, 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 I'm going to be running a little late because I'm still at work. I'm just getting home. Can you push our reservations back? Hey, push it back to five o'clock. Maybe six o'clock just to save y'all some time. Nah, you wasn't considerate of that. You wasn't considerate of that. You, in return, got home, had him waiting at your doorstep while you upstairs for an hour. Then you got the nerve to come back down, get in his car, and try to dictate to him what he's supposed to do when you already fucked that up? What? Are you crazy? Then you got the nerve to go live on TikTok or whatever platform you was on. You didn't ask him for his permission. You just go live to try to play him. But guess what? You played yourself. You played yourself. In my funk flex voice, you played yourself. Now, now what you got to say? What you got to say now? Oh, but I was going to compromise. How was you going to compromise? Because he decided to stand up for himself and say, oh, well, if that's the case, then let's go home. You think you too good for the Cheesecake Factory? You know how many females I know that would have adored the Cheesecake Factory? What? Are you crazy, lady? What the hell is wrong with you? I pro- Yo, bro, I promise you, she ain't never been to no five-star restaurant in her whole entire life. She ain't been to no five-star restaurant. Because I'm telling you right now, ain't no chick that's been to no five-star restaurant is going to hate on no Cheesecake Factory. Because I know plenty of females that would have went to the Cheesecake Factory in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. And she got, oh, I'm looking like this. How are you looking? How are you looking? Have that purple ass lipstick. Look like look a mortician. That's what she look like. She need to she need to get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Unreal. She bugging out. She bugging out. Salute to that dude for standing up for himself. Cause she would have, if she would have got my whip with that, she'd have been walking. I'm sorry, I'd have been like, "Yo, you could get out. Here goes some, here goes some bus fare. You could get out." He, he cause was... I, go ahead, man. Cause I, was, I ain't about to be disrespected. Nah, that ain't happening. That he is not happening. That perfectly. Nah, he did. He, I never. He handled that so well. Because what he did was, he said, oh, you want to go on live? 
Oh, okay. See, I'd have me. It'd have been different for me. Out of wild, like not wild on her. Like, like, I would have. I would have really. She would have really seen my route. I was like, first of all, hold up. Let, let let me explain something to you. Like, this is not how this works. You know what I'm saying? That's how I would have came. He was. Res- he was. He respectfully cursed her out. Yeah. That's basically what that was. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, bitch. I'm going to embarrass you on your own, in front of your own friends, in front of your own followers. And it's going to damage you. Because she got another video, which we'll react to another time, but where she explains something about what happened. But either way, that's the video. Tell us what y'all think in the comments. Was she wrong? Is the Cheesecake Factory trash? Would you pass or would you go there? It's up to you, you know. But let us know in the comments, man. You know what I'm saying? We will be back with another video. But we out of here, man. Scat Pad Podcast. See ya. Peace. Bye.